You know how they say black women are always saving us from ourselves? That's what exactly what this character, Sister Sage from The Boys, reminds me of. It's giving Olivia Pope of The Boys. Spoilers for The Boys season four that just premiered on Amazon Prime. When they first announced this character, Sister Sage, and they show her outfit, like it looks like a Dora Milaje, but a hoodified version of it. I was just like, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried, especially because a lot of times TV shows don't have a track record of positively portraying black women. But after the first three episodes, I absolutely love this character. And her power is that she is the smartest person on the planet. Not the smartest woman, but the smartest person. And so with that, this character is aligning herself with Homelander and Vought. And so because of that, a lot of people are thinking that she's an out and out villain and the main villain of the series. And honestly, I don't think this character is a straight up villain because she's aware enough. She's the smartest person in the world. She understands systemic racism and everything like that. Racial politics, identity, where she stands in the world. And so I think because of that, she's navigating through Vault and the Seven and using the systems of white supremacy and uh, oppression and everything like that to basically dismantle the whole system. At least that's what I'm getting from her. It's getting, it's giving very Olivia Pope vibes and her using like B613, spoilers if you haven't seen Scandal, but using like B613 to try to do things to quote unquote stand in the sun. I could be wrong. This character could be a straight out and out villain, but I feel like they could have gone the easy route and making this character like a Clarence Thomas, Candace Owens, Stacey Dash, Amarosa type of black conservative commentary, but the fact that they didn't go that route and she's way more politically savvy and quote unquote apparently leftist and still aligning herself with Vaught, I feel like there's way more to this character's story and narrative and motivations than her being just a straight villain. But also, we got Jeffrey Dean Morgan showing up. Eric Kripke is collecting supernatural actors to be on this show, like Pokemon, and I'm here for it. Speaking of something else that I'm here for, because we always gotten references, hints, and subtext that Frenchie was actually bisexual, but now, in season four, we're getting, instead of subtext, we're getting fucking text. And his love interest is played by Elliot Knight. And I like Elliot Knight. The first time I saw him was in Once Upon a Time. He played Merlin. And then he was also, uh, I think, Dove in Titans. So, all right, Frenchie, get you some action. So I'm like, does that technically make this the gayest season of the boys ever? Because we've seen gay characters and gay people in the boys before. But Frenchie is a main character. Make it blacker, make it gayer. That's my motto. But what do y'all think of season four of the boys? Do the things over here to boost this video for the algorithm.